I like hiking and backpacking in the desert best when there's water at the end of the trail. Havasupai Falls is in the Havasupai Indian Reservation in the Grand Canyon in Arizona. I'm not a super fan of like how-to videos. I'm more interested in videos that inspire you to go do and try new things. But here are a few things you might want to know before you go to Havasupai Falls. The first mile or two is really steep. Remember that when you come back out. And then it's pretty flat all the way to the town of Supai. Supai is probably one of the few towns in the United States that you can't get to by car. You have to walk in or take a donkey or a mule or a horse, or I guess you could take the helicopter. It's a little funky to be eight miles into a backpack trip and run into a town where you can get food, there's a store, there's a post office, there's churches, and there's kids going to school. As you go through the town of Supai, you'll need to stop and get your permit. You'll need to call ahead to get this. The number to the tribe is online. It's about another two miles from town to get to the campground. There is plenty of drinking water from a spring in the campground. The bathrooms are nice and clean, but there is no running water. You might want to take a frisbee to squirrel proof your food and backpack. You can camp under the stars or you can pitch a tent. We decided we would try hammocks and it was actually pretty comfortable. You can sometimes even get food at the campground. The fry bread is amazing. Remember to bring your swimmers. That is the main attraction for me, is swimming and playing in the beautiful water. One final note, when it's time to come home, you can get a mule to carry your backpack up, and you'll only need to carry your food and lots of water to get up that steep part. Or I guess you can throw your backpack on the helicopter. My final words about Havasupai Falls, enjoy the water. It is beautiful. It is magic. <laughs>